Welcome back to It's a Vase Productions, where today, I'm not sure that it's a comedy reaction video. I think this is more of an interview. Uh, people have been throwing it at me for a while now. They've been, they keep saying, check out Billy Connolly, Parkinson's, Tom Cruise. Those are the keywords. Billy Connolly, Parkinson's, Tom Cruise. And from what I saw, from when I got the video, it looks like... An interview. My next guest is a superstar of comedy. He's also a musician, an actor. He appeared in The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise, a talented welder, and a devotee of the fast growing pastime of bungee jumping in the nude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ever windswept, endlessly interesting, Billy Connolly! Oh, he's nice, isn't he? Yeah, he's he nice. nice. He's my chum. He's my very pal. Yes. <laughs> I tell you, we went to Japan to do the samurai, and I just arrived. I was in the hotel. I was telling him earlier, and and I was I was watching the news on Japanese television, and I wasn't I wasn't making much of it, you know. <laughs> it was very interesting, you know. It's because they all the, the all over the world newsmen sound like newsmen. Even you don't know what they're talking about. Well, that's when bears are sitting on that. And the same as disc jockeys. You know, if you're in Afghanistan, you hear a disc jockey, you don't understand the language, but you know he's talking crap, you know. <laughs> but I was watching the... I'm sorry. It's I was... universal. It's universal. I was watching... He was like shooting with him. I always have to stay in character, make sure you don't know what he's going to say. I was watching the news. He's, oh. And of course, it, it, it led up to this thing, this this thing that we're going to talk about, which was him. Uh, but I didn't know, you know, it's, uh, because it was Japanese. And and a white aeroplane came on the screen, like from the, the, the front, you know, coming on the screen, this white. And, and the door opened and he looked out and smiled and, and the hair flopped like that. And I thought, Jesus, I fancy him myself. <laughs> 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 that thing and they go, ting! <laughs> and his mother's the same, this is my mother, ting! <laughs> the whole family! <laughs> but, I mean, Boys used to come and practice kissing on me. Oh, did they? Oh, the local guys, hey, Bill, come here! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you this. <laughs> you say people talk to you and you like them. People talk to me, I hate them. <laughs> okay, you're a beautiful kind of guy. I'm, I'm always like this. <laughs> you know, my, my father said I was like a tramp looking out of a halo. <laughs> I was going to Hammersmith Odeon, as I will be soon again. And I, I was in the chair as, as I, cause I, 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 I strayed with such ease through the theatre district. Michael knows this. Oh, I was in the elevator. This, this is the truth as I sit here. I'm in the elevator. I've got all ready for the gig. I'm in the elevator feeling, well, you look the best you can now, Bill. Let's go for it. Because even big, fat, ugly people, there's a point when they're getting ready to go. <laughs> Guys that do that thing, you know. <laughs> and so I'm the, I'm the best I can be, and I'm uh, in the elevator feeling, you know, windswept and interesting. <laughs> and the women are very attractive, kind of middle aged. I don't like saying middle aged because when you tell somebody they're middle aged, if they're in the middle, you're presuming you know where the end is. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of don't like that. But she was a very attractive American woman. Kind of maybe 40 ish around there. Although I can't very well tell what people are in or whatever ages. But she, she was standing there and I went, hello. Do uh, you know that elevator behaviour? <laughs> <laughs> Although my, my very favourite is to stand behind people and go. <laughs> but, <laughs> and 
then lick the back of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> but I was. Uh, this is. A, you may not believe uh, that this is the absolute. So people have nerve that you're glad you don't have in your tooth. You know what I mean? She's standing there, and I went, "Hello, how are you doing?" She said, "Just fine." And there was a wee silence, and then she says, "Bad hair day." <laughs> I said, no, <laughs> fat ass dick. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Let's, let's now try and conduct a conversation. No. We talk uh, all the time. We do. Uh, no, I'm an audience, <laughs> Billy, that's what I am. <laughs> You've talked to it's, me before. It's, it's, We've uh, talked on uh, many things. Well, my word, we have indeed. What I'm interested in now, of course, is sharing your experience as a film star, as you are. As a, as a film as star. As a film star. As a, a, a legend. A legend. Of the silver screen. Uh, yes. Now, it was an enjoyable experience working with Mr. Cruz and vice versa. It was an absolute delight. Was it? I an it. absolute delight. We both we, had a... We... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we did a scene. We were in a, we were in a Japanese restaurant. Well, it wasn't like a modern one. This is supposed to be back at the turn of the century, or you know, the Civil War time. And 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 the Japanese are, are making a meal for us. It's all pretty weird-looking stuff. And and I thought I'll have a go at the wasabi and see what happens, you know. So I took oh, a no. big lump of that, you know, that green mustard that blow your ass off. So I. <laughs> <laughs> And then we had to match it, so we had to eat it in every take. That's all. And the director says, oh, that's great, keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> take 12 going on. Jesus, <laughs> what a rotten night. So he joins in. Yeah. I felt oh, bad I for you. Yeah, because he's fantastic, the guy. But I'm like, and then they cut it out. They cut it out. When we cut it out, we had, I was like that discussion with Ed Zwick going, who's going to tell Billy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally, I was worried. We had a medic on the set guy. worried about who's going, who's going to tell Billy. We've got to tell him. Yeah. He was eating all that wasabi. He introduced me to Steven Spielberg when I was asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're I'm scared, Steven. I want you to meet Billy. I was, I was in a rickshaw sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> they also, they got rid of you very early in the film, didn't they? I mean, you're about sort of... Well, this is, this is the way my career has gone. I almost gone. wrote to Mr. Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> I died rather a lot. Yes, no, you're yeah. written in the whole picture, but we couldn't get any shooting done because the stuff's <laughs> coming out. I mean, literally, you could see takes from Saying, everyone's saying, okay, Billy's going to do something, and we yeah. just, we don't know what's going to happen, so. <laughs> Let's be reminded, shall we, of, uh, of you in, in The Last Samurai, because it, it's, this is a, one of those moments we're talking about, I think. Yes, those with, intimate with Tom, moments. Those moments. It'll bring back memories of Dustin well, Hoffman. He's a drill sergeant. <laughs> Yes, that's the end of part one. <laughs> I'm looking forward to part two. Hopefully I'll get to, you know, watch a little bit of him in The Last Samurai. But uh, that entire thing was hilarious. He That was basically just his stand-up. I mean, that was him. Well, it wasn't stand-up because he was sitting down, but he walked onto a talk show and then just... Now this is the Billy show. <laughs> and... The host, even when he tries to start ticking over near the end, he's like, well, oh, well, OK, so we've talked. Like, oh, yes, we've talked many times before. You and I, we've we've had many conversations. I'm very much looking forward to part two. Uh, that's going to be coming up soon, along with uh, Still Game. I promise I'm getting to it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying what's happening. If you want to see more of this, subscribe. You'll get more. All right. Do it for Yoda. <laughs>